Many members of the U.S. Army are testifying after being subpoenaed to appear before the independent commission that's investigating the Lewiston mass shootings. Five members of the Army who were in contact with Robert Card are sharing details about their relationship with him in the months prior to the night of October 25th when he killed 18 people. Fellow Army reservists detailed the paranoia Card was experiencing well, on a reserve mission back in July, First Sergeant Matthew Noyes was part of the group that first raised concerns to Army Command at that time. He says it wasn't very often the Army directed someone to seek mental health treatment. But that's when Card spent two weeks in a New York psychiatric hospital. So this was something that I had never seen before. So leaving West Point, I actually felt really good about what we did. Mm -hmm and felt like um, we'd done more than most reserve units would. Staff Sergeant Noyes went on to say it was very concerning to see Card was still experiencing these same mental health issues two months later when he threatened to shoot up the Saco Armory. U.S. Army commanders say they were very concerned those threats were credible and requested the Sagadahawk County Sheriff's Office to conduct a welfare check, which eventually fell short of ever making contact with Card. We will hear more from today's testimonies tonight at 5 and 6.